Okay, today we are going to be doing the waffle stitch crochet pattern. This is part of our granny square blanket. It's the second blanket we've made. So the second series of stitches. We are going to be using worsted weight yarn. Red Heart is an affordable, great yarn to use for this project, but anything that's a, a weight of four or the worsted weight yarn will work. We're using a size H hook. That is a five millimeter. We are also going to be using a yarn needle and of course some scissors. Starting with a slip knot. You're going to chain 30. We don't count that starting knot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. You can also do this longer if you want to make a whole blanket out of this waffle stitch, but for our square, we're using a chain of 30. You can do it as long as you want, as long as it is a multiple of three. Also, if you would like to follow along on a written pattern, we have that available on our Facebook page. The link is in the description for this video. So we have our base chain. The first row, you're going to just skip two chains going in the third from the hook with a double crochet. One, two, go in the third. And you're going to double crochet in every chain along your row, and that's your whole first row. Okay, so you have your first row finished. It's all double crochets all the way across. Now we're going to chain two. Turn your work. Now your second row, you're going to skip those two chains. Just going in that first stitch of the row, you're going to be doing a double crochet. Now the next two stitches, instead of going in the top like you would normally, they're going to be front post stitches. So you're going to be going around that post with a double crochet. So yarn over first. The third stitch is also a front post double crochet. 
Now you're just going to repeat those three stitches all the way across. So yarn over, ready for our double crochet up here at the top, like normal. Now we're doing two front post double crochets. So one here. And one here. Okay, when you get to the end of the row, you've got one stitch left. Let's put our single crochet in there. And that is the end of your second row. Okay, this side doesn't look all that pretty because the waffles are actually going to be on this side. So all the texture, the little waffle pockets or dimples here are only on one side and the back side is relatively flat. So to get started with that row three, you're going to chain two, turn your work. Now you're on to row three. You're going to start with a front post double crochet. So yarn over and that post is located right here on the end. Since you can't go in and then back out of anywhere, uh, you're on the end, you're going to go around the corner and up through here. Since your post is right on the end there. So unlike the uh, other side of, you know, row two, you did a double crochet on the top like normal, followed by two front post double crochets. This row is going to be one front post double crochet followed by two normal double crochets. So it's the opposite of the other side. So our next two are up here on the top, all using double crochet. Now it's time for another front post. So we're going in here. Now the farther you get along on your square, you're going to be able to see where exactly these stitches need to be. You don't need to be counting even your groups of three almost. Uh, your two up top. And the front post will come over here where it's already raised. And you're going to continue those three stitches in order for the rest of the row. A front post, then two normal double crochets. Now at the end here, you still got that last front post double crochet to do. There's your chains as you went around the corner, but here is still a front post that you need to do. Now we're ready to chain two and turn. Now you've done everything you need to know how to do to do the whole rest of the square. You're going to alternate between doing that second row and the third row. So now that we're back on this side, we would be doing a double crochet on top followed by two front post double crochets. So if you kind of move this around here in the light, you should be able to see that there are the two front posts waiting for you to go here. And then you'll do them again when you get here and here. And then when you get back around to the other side, it'll be time to do one on the front here, making the waffles with two on the top and then one front post. So you're going to keep going row after row, alternating that second row and third row until your square here is pretty square. <laughs> okay. Then you're ready to do your last row, which all we're going to do for that last row is just a double crochet on the top along every single stitch. It's going to help the top look like the bottom where you started. It's a little bit bulkier. We could try working it with a single crochet so it wouldn't stand out as much. So just need that nice edge on there. So I'm actually going to try that single crochet and see if that lines up a little bit better. My pattern on Facebook right now has it as a double crochet in every stitch. So we are going to try a single crochet and see if that looks even better. 
This last row does not have any front post or back post or anything special, just a single crochet like normal in every single stitch. that was your last row cut your tail long yarn over and pull through but I leave this pinched because I need to go back through here yarn over and pull it all the way through again and you pull it tight and that is your knot okay so I do I like that single crochet it just makes it kind of match the uh, bottom where you started um, so in this picture, my example one, it's a double crochet. It stands out a little bit more than the bottom, but I will update that pattern and you'll all be ready to do this. The last step is just tucking in your ends. So that's where your yarn needle comes in handy. Push your yarn through. Now it really doesn't take much. It's just going down the row one direction few stitches and turning around and coming back give it a tug then you're ready to trim your end so that is our waffle stitch. We've got one new stitch coming next week, and then it will be time to add a border and stitch the whole blanket together. So thank you for joining us. Uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of our crochet or other art videos. Thank you. Mm -hmm.